So as you know, the cost of gear can be prohibitive for some people who would like to ski or snowboard. Well, Denver 7's Maggie Wilansky takes us to a class at Clear Creek High School, helping to eliminate this barrier. A woodshop classroom at Clear Creek High School yeah, has come back. Underfoot is looking like to life. 12 centimeters. All right, let's check the other one. It's pretty remarkable to, to see that we took the plastic covers off, blew the dust off, and now it's a shop running every single day with kids running machines. And what students are making is four great rides. I'm refurbishing my snowboard, making it like stronger on the tails. Uh, right now, I'm fixing my edges because they were just cracked. From start to finish, students learn how to make skis and snowboards from scratch. I definitely thought it was going to be like an impossible thing, but it's honestly way simpler than you'd think and pretty easy, especially when you have Ben helping you. Easy, thanks to Ben Shea. Okay. So you'll do that there, and then you'll do the same thing back here on these. One, two, three, four. He's the course instructor. That it's fun, and our teacher like helps us a lot. From beginners to black diamond experts, Ben sees how this class can help kids at all levels get outdoors. So with this class, we've got kids who uh, you know, want to snowboard every single day if they have the opportunity, and kids who've never been able to because of the barriers. And so with this program, and there being no class fee and no cost for it, it eliminates a lot of barriers for students to get access to what's kind of the most expensive piece of it, which is the piece you slide down the hill on. Students see this vision too. I think it's great. I mean, I wish more kids that didn't know how to ski could like come out, make a pair of skis, and then we could like go up and ski one day and like help them learn. As they build their gear for the slopes, the skills they learn, setting them up for future success. It allows kids to get into jobs. We've got internships for kids at Loveland. Kids headed in a direction that they wouldn't have if this was just an empty classroom like it was a couple years ago. In Clear Creek County, where students are carving out creativity. Maggie Walansky, Denver 7.